medical breakthrough. In Boston, surgeons transplanting a kidney from a genetically engineered pig into a 62-year-old patient. The doctor today breaking down as he talked about this new breakthrough and what this could mean for so many. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, a groundbreaking milestone bringing hope to hundreds of thousands of Americans with kidney failure. It was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. <laughs> Surgeons at Massachusetts General Hospital say they transplanted a pig's kidney into a living human for the first time. Doctors say the patient, Rick Slayman, a 62-year-old black man, had been desperately sick on dialysis. He literally said, I just can't go on like this. I don't want to go on like this. Black Americans are nearly four times more likely than white people to suffer end-stage kidney disease. Since the transplant five days ago, Slayman is recovering well and could soon go home. Of the nearly 89,000 people waiting for a kidney, about 16,000 a year will get one. If this transplant is successful and future research shows it's safe, doctors hope it could pave the way for an endless supply of pig kidneys and make the need for long-term dialysis obsolete. But that could take years. <laughs> The leader of the transplant team today, overwhelmed with emotion. I cannot think of a more dedicated team in, in the world, and I'm, I'm honored to be part of it. So far, doctors say the patient's new kidney seems to be functional. Doctors will continue to monitor him for any signs of rejection, but doctors say he is improving every day. David. Everyone pulling for that patient. Stephanie, thank you. We turn now to the economy tonight on another record day for the stock market. In fact, the Dow tonight nearing a remarkable new milestone. The Dow gaining 269 points today, finishing the day at 39,781, closing in on that 40,000 milestone. The Dow more than doubling its value in the last four years, bringing some good news tonight for 401ks after COVID and the economic strain that came with it. Let's get right to ABC's Ariel Reshef. She's live on Wall Street tonight as the Dow nears 40,000. Ariel? Hey, David, for the second day in a row, the market surging into record territory. The Fed just yesterday holding interest rates steady and signaling that three cuts could be coming by the end of the year. Some analysts predicting that the first cut could come as early as June. And, of course, that could help offset the cost of credit card debt as well as car loans. But Americans are already feeling the stock market surge in their retirement accounts with 401ks averaging. They're up about $12,000. And I want to show you just how far we've come since the stock market crashed at the top of the pandemic. The Dow nearly doubling over the course of the past four years. Of course, reason to hope and positive signs of encouragement for so many Americans feeling the pinch, David. Ariel Reshef, live on Wall Street. Of course, we'll be watching it again tomorrow. Ariel, thank you. Tonight, President Biden forgiving another $5.8 billion in student loans. The president providing student loan relief for 78,000 public service workers, including firefighters, nurses, and teachers. Those eligible will be notified by mail. The White House says the administration has canceled $144 billion now in student loans for nearly 4 million Americans. Again, you'll be notified in your email. When we come back, 